Okay, guys. So picking up again with Sword and Buckler, 133, the Alpargus Fact Book, working again on some of those more interesting entrances. But before I do that, I really want to talk about how I like to react from the different wards. So I mentioned before that with Sword and Buckler, because we're not attached with both hands, we're not really focused on stepping with our cuts, moving through our cuts with that motion. Instead, we're really kind of throwing shots that kind of come from the hips and engage the hips. We're not looking for the full passing step we think of when we're doing things like longsword. So if this is someone seizing in and say half shield, right? Perfect example, working from here. When I cut to engage, I do not want to do this with a step. Right, and this gets into a lot of the different ideas of timing and motion and some of the deeper philosophies of fencing. But the short version that I can give you is that if I am stepping with my cut after my opponent has already stepped into range and given me a target to cut against, I am really far behind the action. And even if I step through good motion and structure, as I land, they're able to move again and they will use their body and distance to control what I'm doing, whereas I'm already committed to an action halfway through. So because of the length of the weapons, because these are much shorter, much closer, much more intimate compared to like a long sword, that I do not want to get in the habit of stepping as I drive through. I don't want to start stepping as I cut the person's blade to displace it. It doesn't take up a lot of time. And we know that the opponent is closing the distance for us, right? If we assume that they are fencing 133, the same way we're fencing 133, which may be a large leap of faith for right now. But as I come through, I siege, maybe closing my line to attack and drive through. If they're doing the same exact thing, they're gonna close that distance. Remember, the first rule isn't hit the other person. First rule is don't get hit. With sword and buckler, the goal should be find that weapon, stop them getting to the center. Because remember, we talked about if I siege in, the other person does nothing, they just follow in with a thrust. So we're going to assume they're doing the same thing. So as they come in, I'm going to cut against that blade and make them work to get the center and fight for center and control things from there. And obviously at this position is when everything starts to go sideways, right? It's a sword fight. We're in a competitive engagement. They're not just letting me catch the sword and displace them and stab them. We're going to be fighting for the center, center of control. And yes, Undeniably, the person who charges in first, the person who takes the vor, who attacks with the siege first, is in a better position than I am. But if I can make them come to me and instead of closing the distance for them, this gives me extra time to feel what they're doing, react in the bind, and working from there. So it's really important to practice being comfortable here of being out in my second ward and pressing this cut against whatever's coming in working from first ward, practicing my rising cut, practicing the falling cut, things like that. And just being able to use my weapon to control the center without needing to take the step. As soon as I commit myself to this step, I'm putting myself behind, I'm committed to this motion to the next tempo and they finish their step and do something else as I'm driving in. What usually winds up happening is if I'm sieging and this is my opponent who's nicely stepping in for me, so instead of being two steps, we're only one step away to simulate them taking that step. So if I siege into my half shield and they've stepped into close, I can easily turn this over to that covered thrust. So getting used to this position of here, I'm able to press out, covering my hand, control the center, working from there. The nice part of this strategy is that once they've made an action from this position, I can now step. I can use my footwork to help change the way of the fight, to move things around and working from there. So this is really hard to demonstrate solo. I'll do my best with the static spell that I have. They're coming in with half shield. I know we haven't talked too much about it. Um, I think we did. So from half shield, from every position, once the swords are bound, we're going to try to press the other person down to seven, staying on top of their blade, working from there. So I know that as they see Jin, I throw my cut to keep myself from getting stabbed immediately. They're going to try to press my sword down and move off the line. Because I haven't stepped, I can then step away, re-engage over their weapon, and take the top bind away from them. 
So again, getting used to the idea, working from here, throw this cut, they're gonna press me down, I'm gonna step away, line back on top. This becomes a really simple, direct motion, being able to throw a cut, move, disengage, working from there. So again, this is really important now as we start building these layers so we can start being aware of what the opponent is doing next, what we're setting ourselves up for, and how to deal with that. So um, moving on, looking at some more sieges, some fun sieges, some crazier sieges, and kind of tying them together and making this whole mess start to make sense. So one of the more obvious sieges is sieging from long point. So remember, there are three different long points we've talked about. Seventh ward, which is down and pressed forward here, or the final ward, if you prefer, is one of them. If I bring this up to chest height, that's another. Head height, it's a third. But all through this position, I'm extended, I'm engaged, I'm pressing out, I'm structured through here. You can siege with long point. Long point is a siege that you can then drive in. And you start to see immediately why this would work. So if the pal again is my target that I'm hitting, strike one, step back, here's my siege, step back again, here's my ward. So I'm starting my two steps away. I'm stepping in to long point. And again, if they do nothing, or if they're really slow, I can just drive this in, close this line off. This is the 